Alright guys, it is the Chalk Mod and I'm going to be showing you a Christmas tutorial. This is my Christmas tutorial. It's different to my normal ones because this is more of a programming tutorial, so it's for PC. But I am going to be using modding tools inside my program. So you're going to want to download the trial for Microsoft Visual Basics. Visual Basics. And you're also going to want some uh, mods some modding programs so I've got Black Ops Decryptor, I've got some Black Ops FF files, some HXD and Notepad. So firstly what you're going to want to do is make a folder and then make a folder in that and then put your files inside that. So yep yeah, that's quite easy I'm sure you can do that. Then you're going to want to open up Visual Basics 2008 Express Edition. Come on, there we go. Now this is really quite simple to use and it's very good as well. So it's I've literally got it earlier today and I've already made a couple of modding tools. But but this is gonna be the final one which I'm making now. Wait for it to load, there we go. So this should pop up. You're gonna to wanna to click on this one here and then call it whatever you want to call it, mine's just going to be called the chalk mods click OK now I'm just going to show you around this program right now so basically on the left here you've got all of the things you can put inside your program so text, progress bars, checks, pictures menus and all of this it's all on the side here and then on here you've got the properties of what you're looking at so for instance I'm gonna change the name of it so I'm gonna click on it and then go on here I'm gonna call it the chalk mods and you can also change the color of it up here at the top like that. I'm going to have my black like that. Okay. Right, so now you can also change the size of it. So if you want it long, if you want it whatever you want, I'm going to have mine like this. And I'm going to add a button. So you're going to want to go into the common control section, click on button and then just draw a button like that then to change the name of it you're going to click on it go down here and there you go change the name of it I'm going to call this the HXD just click on there like that now with this mod with this modding tool I'm just going to use HXD but um, you can put so many more, so many more buttons on here. But just for time, I'm just going to put this button on here. Now, what you're going to want to do next to put in, to put so this goes on to HXD, you're going to want to double click on hit the button, and this will come up. Now here you want to type in process dot start. Like that. Then you're going to want to open brackets, then do speech marks, do speech marks, and then close brackets, just like that. Now you're going to want to go to the file which you put all the modding tools in. So mine is here. And then you want to click on HXD, well, on whichever one you're using, and then go on to the application file. So for instance, this is the HXD file or for another one for notepad it is this one and for another example for the decryptor it is this fast crypt tool so it's the one that you click on to get to the program but not the shortcut it can't be the shortcut so what you're going to want to do is right click on that go down to properties click on security and then just copy this here just like that so copy that click OK Go on to here, 
and then just go between the speech marks and paste that in there like that. There you go. Now if you click this start debugging thing here and just click on that, then your program should pop up just like this. And as you can see, if you click on it, up comes HXD. So there you go, there's a really quick um, tutorial around visu Microsoft Visual Basics. Please like up like the video for Christmas and I will put some more tutorials after Christmas as I'm working quite a lot over the Christmas holidays. So I'll talk to you later guys. Alright, have a good Christmas and goodbye.